Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I have pre-shuffled these four decks for you. I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for September 25th through October 1st. We'll see what comes up for love. This is for the sign of Aries. That's you, right there. And that is the center of your reading. Imagine that, that is the basis of your reading. Being in control, keeping the structure, remaining organized, that's your focus, okay? You want to just remain in control, you want to um, remain very structured, and I think this week must be about structure. You're right in the middle of the reading, so that is the basis of your reading. And that card represents Aries. That's a family, man or woman, okay? Somebody who is very family-oriented, and they're just concentrating on raising their family at this time, okay? Um, not that that's just what they're concentrating on, but that's a big part of it, okay? And if they aren't raising their family, they I'm going to turn this around because I'm not doing reverse. And I do know how to do reverse, but I don't need to do reverse. But anyway, they concentrate on... Um, being very, keeping the lead, keeping uh, things in control, keeping things structured and organized without chaos, all right? So we have the tower right next to that. So the tower is a false foundation that eventually cracks. Something is going to crack if it has not already, okay? And I think that you might be trying to prevent it from cracking, all right? There's definitely some resistance. There's some limitations. There's some sacrifices with this hangman, all right? Um... I think that you've been resisting a change, but this the hangman is saying that you must stay on the course. You must push through it. Even if there's a struggle, change is on the horizon. The two of pentacles is change. There's a little tiny bit of chaos and you don't want to have it. Okay? You don't you're trying to keep your no chaos. You don't want any chaos. Alright, here the shadow side, that is the devil card right next to the death card. Okay, so this is an ending, but maybe you're trying to, um, because we have resistance, resist some kind of ending, okay? Maybe you're trying to resist it, because this is an ending that forces a new beginning. It's the death card, and the death card comes out, it is the end of something where something new can begin, a, new, a transformation, like a new, a new phase of your life, and right next to the wheel, the wheel of fortune, a new chapter is right around the corner for you. Um, and I think you're there, that you have earned this victory. You have been very successful. All right? I see you being very successful and organized and disciplined and very in control of who you are. The shadow side, though, says that you might have some addictions or some obsessions or, you know, sometimes, sometimes things might be go a little too far because this is also manipulation. All right, so just beware about controlling because I see that you want to keep control, but you got to be be sure that you know you're not manipulating anything. All right, this right here is the victory, the success, the feeling proud of your accomplishments. This is something new on a physical level. Okay, so you could be getting a raise, you could be getting something new, could be. You know, a gift of money could be a new partner. It could be, it's something new on a physical level, all right? Anything that matches the description for you. Um, this is a stalemate, though, pretending, ignoring a situation, ignoring an ending. So, like I said earlier, I think you might res be resisting something from ending, 
okay? And you're staying stuck in a situation. This is the Eight of Swords. Staying stuck in a situation that it's false. Again, this is the false foundation. And this is a false imprisonment. Her mouth isn't pl plugged. And I think you had this last week too. You can, and now it's at the beginning of this week. So this, you can free yourself whenever you're ready. We've talked about this before. Okay. You, I think maybe you've been very stressed. You might have been ill. You may have been uh, depressed. Okay. And you, it seems like you've been fighting a battle that is never ending. And it's just about killing you. All right. You have a lot of perseverance here. You've been persevering. You've been um, very resilient. And you're just trying to prevent something from breaking down. That's what I see. This right here, the nine of um, cups, that's about satisfaction, feeling very satisfied. That's about also about your hopes and wishes being fulfilled. You're stuck right now. There's a false foundation connected to this hopes and wishes being fulfilled. You're stuck in something that probably isn't bringing you the satisfaction that you seek. Now you have three nines right close next to each other. Nine, nine, nine. Nines are about you are so close to the end. You are so, so close. Okay? Nines are um, when things finally come to fruition. It's when it finally came to a point where the next step is the actual completion because it's a ten. So you're so, so, so close to being where you want to be. Now we're going to get the next deck. This is supposed to be a love reading, but I think it's about remaining in control this week, remaining organized, um, you know, getting things together, being um, proactive. And I think that you have been, there's a false foundation, and you know it, and you know it, and you've been, you're just trying to, prevent it from happening. You're doing everything in your power to prevent it from happening. From something breaking down. But this ending, it looks like it the, the wheel of the wheel of fortune, it brings in this new abundance that is wonderful. With this eight of pentacles right next to this wheel of fortune, wheel of fortune. Haha. <laughs> wheel of fortune. Um the wheel of fortune is good luck. It's a new chapter that brings something new to you on a physical level where you are recognized for who you are. This is public recognition. This is triumph, success. So it, it's a very good outcome after all this gray darkness. Look at it. Okay? Change must happen, but you're resisting it. You're resisting it in order to keep um, structure and and organization and security. The devil, again. The five of swords. The six of wands, you have it twice. This is recognition. This is being honored for who you are after, after this ending. Okay, because you made a bold move. That's when the good luck comes in because you made a bold move and you're ready to start something new. This is the truth of a situation. It's the Ace of Swords. This is the Hermit. This is the person that goes within. This is introspection. This is restraint. This is also a Jesus consciousness. Okay, so the Hermit comes out when it's a time for you to go, you know, in to have some solitude, some stillness, to step back and refocus on the plan. It's also another nine, okay? So you have a lot of nines. You're so close to the end. You're so close to the end of a situation that you've been resisting. You haven't wanted it to happen. You've been trying to keep it structured. You've been trying to, you know, keep it as less chaotic as possible. But you're so, you, 
the resistance is going to, um, I don't know how much longer you can resist, put it that way. This right here is the star. This is about your hopes and wishes being fulfilled. This is about healing. This is about a rebirth. Okay? A renewal. Okay? So once you stop resisting and you let whatever needs to end, end, because it needs to end. That's what I see. It needs to end. But you're resisting it. Like, I'll get out. You're trying to let keep in control of the situation at all times. Okay, I think that once you let it in, we have these, the positive up here where you be recognized for your hard work. And you get rewarded for, for it. With that Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning on a physical level. That's that, that could be a new house, that could be a gift of money, that can be a new partner, that's anything that is new, that is a very big, big thing, okay? Next to the Wheel of Fortune, good luck. It's a new chapter either way, once you let go. Something is the truth, and I think that you're resisting the truth. And I, the devil says that... Um, there is some kind of addictions. There's some kind of manipulations or, or obsessions that you can free yourself from because the devil also states that you are stuck. You know, you bound, you're bound to a situation, but you're not really bound to it. You can free yourself. These cards fell out. Reconciliation. Keep an open mind. Passion. It is safe for you to love. Romantic feelings. Express your love. Make sure that you can see all those. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now this is this is a love reading. But there's not a lot of love underneath it because it's about being in control of a situation. So this doesn't have to be a lover. This can be anybody. Reconciliation. Someone from the past is returning to your life. You can figure that out how it fits into play for you. All right. When this ending happens and you let go of the resistance, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That's where this this wheel spins and good luck comes. Then you start to have passion. All the gray clouds go away. You have to let something end. That's when passion comes in. And you your self-worth, your self-confidence, your self-respect comes back quick. You could have a new home with that ace of pentacles. Could be a new partner as well. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. Do not be afraid to let go of your, 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 the situation that you're stuck in because it's safe. It is safe for you to love somebody else. For you to love everybody. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They are. They are. You're resisting because it's safe you're resisting this change because you're deny but you're denying your feelings you are there's no doubt about it express your love it can lead to your wishes being fulfilled seriously go ahead make the romantic gesture We're going to get one of these whispers of love. Let's see what comes up. Love is all around you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to zoom that one in and then I'm going to read it.
number 16. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Look around you and recognize that love is showing itself to you all the time and everywhere. It may be a smile on a stranger's face or a simple act of kindness. It may be the warm sun in the blue sky. Life is wonderful. How lucky you are to be so loved. It's true. It's true. Don't worry about what society thinks because that's a big deal with with the Aries with and you're right here in the middle of the reading very worried about what society thinks they have your back by the looks of it these two victory cards you have the six of wands twice you will be recognized in a positive way with the wheel of fortune right here it's going to be very positive so do not worry about what society thinks because it's positive the outcome is positive for you all right it is You've earned it. I gotta go. Talk to you later.